Hi guys, welcome back to Crypteron. Today we have a very special guest, Craig Bricknell, the CEO and the managing director of Bethel. Join us with the AMA. Let's get started. So Craig, what inspired you to start Bethel? Tell us a bit about how Bethel came to life and what sparked the idea. So three years ago, there was a, a group of us who got together and we were talking about, we were, we were interested in blockchain technology and and uh, cryptocurrency and, you know, Bitcoin was all the talk at the time. And we were talking about security. And we, we looked at a, a possibility of decentralization. And that was where our, our conversation focused on decentralization, Web3. We thought that was really exciting. It was, it was right, state of the art. It was right then, right now. And you know, our CTO said, "Look, I think we can do do something special here." And out of that little little idea, and then conversations, we formed a team. We, we built the team, and here we are today with zero knowledge proof, secure data storage and security. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So, how how does Battle keep data super secure? Can you explain in simple terms how privacy is special in Battle? Okay, so that's a that's a great question because and and it's it took me a while to wrap my head around it too. So what we do is we use so firstly we we store all of our data it's stored on the it's decentralized. The data comes in, it's decentralized, it's put on the blockchain, secure it that way. Mm -hmm. But then we thought, what do we do now to protect that data? And and public and private keys just didn't work anymore. They're, they're too vulnerable. You lose your private key, you've just lost everything. You've lost control, you've lost your data, you've lost your privacy. So we, we went down the road of zero knowledge proof. Okay. And a zero knowledge proof is which what we use now. And the best way to describe this, and it and it's difficult, to, it's it, it did, did my brain in at the beginning, but the best way to say it is a zero proof is where I can prove to you. Mm -hmm who I am and say, I am me, uh -huh. and you'll hear me say that I am me, but I'm uh -huh. not going to tell you who I am, but you're going to accept that I am who I am. Uh, okay. And that is the essence of a zero knowledge proof, where no identifying information is passed across to the other side, mm -hmm. and yet the other side accepts that I'm the owner of that information. Oh, okay. So when we talk about data security and data storage, what that means is instead of your data, let's just talk about file storage. So if you store a file now somewhere, decentralized or otherwise, it comes with a private, private and a public key. And information about that public and private key is stored with your files. And that's the vulnerability. So somebody can hack into a data center workers at a data center can can access your information they can take files and they can re-engineer it and put it all back together again because there is identifying information stored with the files with a zero knowledge proof file the in, in our situation firstly there's no identifying information stored with the file once the file comes into the servers or into the nodes it's then decentralized so put on the on the web on the blockchain and then it's mm -hmm. chunked so broken up into lots of little pieces yes. and spread all around the world and replicated in many places mm -hmm. so even if somebody breaks into a data center or a server or somehow gets part of a file they can't put it back together again they don't know what it is they don't know who it belongs to and there's no way to identify it so it's just useless ones and zeros and that's what zero knowledge proof decentralized data storage and data security does. Great explanation, crystal clear. So what exactly is that KPE and what is the enterprise version? Why it is a big deal? Could you please break it down? Oh, wow. Yeah. Look, again, another fantastic question. It is it is a really big deal. And, and people are only just coming to realize how big a deal it is. So right now we live in a world of government, corporate, large business, people mm -hmm. store their, their information, whether it's a database, whether it's a, a cold base files, and it's stored um, in centralized servers. 
and those centralized services are usually protected by a password. And it's very, very vulnerable. Yeah. So what we've done, and that and that's what we call Web2. That's the old way. That's the way everybody's been storing data for a very long time, and, and most of the world still does. So what we do with zero ZKPE, our enterprise version of zero knowledge proof security, is we take the Web2 data, comes into our service, we put it on the blockchain, we decentralize it, so we turn it into Web3, and then we chunk it, spread it around the world, and it's all secured with zero knowledge, knowledge proofs again, where the customer has the only zero knowledge proof. They're in complete control. No one else knows how to identify it, how to access it, how to share it. It's it's purely the person, who, the one entity that holds a zero knowledge proof has complete control. So what we do is we can seamlessly, without any fuss or bother, take Web2 data, bring it into our Web3 system mm -hmm. using ZKPE and convert it into Web3 zero knowledge proof secured data yeah. or data security. And, it's, and it's, it goes both ways, in and out. So it's great for live databases. It's great for high volume transactions. You know, the latency is very, very fast. That's ZKPE, and it's a big deal. We're working with we're working with a government right now. Oh yeah. To yeah. to implement that to protect whole population databases. It's it's very oh, very exciting. Brilliant. Really yeah. exciting it, stuff. It, obviously. So how, how does Bethel grow with its users? The data needs of the users may change and expand. How will Bethel handle this? Well, it's 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 okay. So for for everybody, it's easy. It's scalable very easily scalable so it doesn't matter whether you're just an individual storing data okay. and you want to upload a bunch of files or whether you're a, a multinational corporation or a government that wants to uh, you know store thousands and thousands and thousands of files and want to access them you know thousands of files a second our system can cope with both private use and corporate use oh. so there's no there's no real limit to what so can be no stored. worries about the storage at all yeah no. okay so what what exciting things are coming for battle next year any any sneak peeks or upcoming features that users should look forward to anything yeah well I, i'm glad we just we just settled on on a couple of things that we're working on and one of them i can let you in on right now so our apps two of two things we can let you in our our google and android apps are going to be released within this week so our, we already have a PC-based version of our ZKPE and ZKP storage, but our app versions are coming, you know, version two essentially, being released at the end of this week. That's very, very exciting, and anybody can test it out for a month, free trial. Um, and the second thing that's coming up next year is we're adding digitized ZKP secured document files so the example of that is if you have a driver's license mm -hmm. you can take us you know use your camera on your phone take a photo of your file of your driver's license upload it it'll be zero knowledge proof secured and stored so you'll have that information with you wherever you go the same with your university degrees you, you may want to put your birth certificate on there your passport or your, your, debit, your debit and credit cards. You may wish to have copies of those because not carry them around. There's a lot of people these days just tap and pay. But every now and then you need to have the physical card. Now, if you don't have to carry the physical card and you've got that in your wallet and it's secured with zero knowledge proof, and the only way you can access that is because you have the device that does the proving, usually your phone and all, the, all of your, um, your biometric data that, that helps identify you to your phone that secures that, then you can carry all of your really precious documents around and access them at a moment's notice. Well, that's a really big thing. So we're looking yeah, like, at places like the US who want to digitize everything and they don't at the moment. Yeah, exactly. So thank you very much for the great explanations. We had a great time. Thank you very much. Uh, we it was were... absolutely wonderful. Yeah, that was a privilege to have you on. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. So guys, I hope that you got a crystal clear idea on Bethel. Bethel is going to be the future. Go check out about Bethel. All the links are down here in the description box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.